Well, in case you were wondering what the player count numbers were looking like for this FIFA, uh, it's, it's probably not great because we just got a repeatable icon pack in March, which is a huge W, but just honestly, it's, I'm shocked that they decided to do that. And it's not actually that expensive, all things considered. We can start with that in just one sec here. I'll have two of them to open for this video. And also there will be compensation for this pack as well, depending on it, you know, what you got in the pack. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Uh, call JG Wentworth 877 cash now. I'm sure there's plenty more stuff to talk about, but thank you, by the way, for watching today. And thank you for coming back despite me taking two days off, which the YouTube algorithm, not the biggest fan of, but you know what? I understand why it's that way. Okay, well, let's talk about, let's stop the blabbing. Uh, the icon upgrade that came out today. If you guys want to buy coins, you can go to MMOXP.com. The link is in the description. Use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount. Two team of the weeks are needed in the player pick, plus an 85 rated squad as well so honestly super cheap apart from just the team of the week packs or sorry team of the week players not packs and it also includes a centurions thunderstruck winter wild carter team of the year icon and i think that's pretty great honestly and we also got this 85 plus campaign mix pack which is also repeatable that can kind of give you basically any promo card for from the entire year almost apart from like team of the years and some heroes and icons but that's pretty cheap too so uh, really, I have nothing bad to say about this. This is pretty great. Plus, the players we've gotten, we've got Alexander Izak and the Ben Chilwell. We've got the, you know, the Clark and Akanji showdown. This Ben Chilwell, by the way, I'm pretty sure this is the first card this year with Long Ball and Incisive Pass Plus combined together. I don't think any cards have this, if I'm not mistaken. And both these play styles, obviously, if you're an avid watcher of the channel, you know that these are insane play styles. That's why I think they made this card not as great in-game stats-wise, because they know the play styles will make this card actually insane so that, that's a good card even though the stats don't look amazing off rip but this Isaac card looks great too i think showdown series has actually been a pretty fun promo so far and also you combine this with the free upgrade if a card wins or gets the plus one upgrade even because obviously the city of liverpool game was a draw right so you're looking at a plus one in all those cards you can then give them another plus one basically and that's plus two defending i think it's just plus ones and plus two defending so it's a plus three if they were to win and if they get a draw they still get a plus two which is what clark and akanji are both now going to get you mean you get to pick which one you want in there if you did both of them but i think it's pretty cool also and uh yeah i don't have much else to really say about the promo so far it's been pretty good and this is what the competition will be for slash why we're even going to get it in the first place so uh basically when this pack first came out if you go and look at the description here it did not say thunderstruck icon there it said base centurions winter wild cards or team of the year icon players so before the thunderstruck icon came up on the text if you packed a thunderstruck icon you will probably get compensation now i'm not sure if that means if you just open the pack at all before they added the thunderstruck text and you will then also get compensation whether you packed one or not because obviously technically speaking that would have affected the odds because there were thunderstruck icons and all of them so if you didn't pack one you still had the odds affected by them so they should be giving it out to everybody but i don't think that's what they do i think it's gonna be the case of you get a thunderstruck icon uh, then you're gonna get another icon pack. And EA's tweet was 3.23 my time, which is two and a half hours almost after content time because of daylight savings now. So, I mean, really there's a couple hours probably in there where you could have packed a Thunderstruck icon and you will be getting compensation for it. And also I saw this from a couple of creators. Unique Riggers says, you may also want to check the campaign upgrade. This guy says, what's wrong with it? He says, RTTF cards are in it, but are not mentioned in the description. So this will probably be another compensation type thing coming in the coming days if you happens to pack one in there. Now, uh, you know, EA not really on top of things as to nobody's surprise. But we'll get all the fantasy upgrades here in a sec, but the Timo Werner SBC, by the way, guys, was one of the best SBCs of the entire year. Well, it's going to be. He needs one more appearance in these next two games. He's got the goal and assist. They've got the wins. They need four goals now between Fulham and Luton. Uh, and Tottenham are scoring goals for fun right now. I would not be shocked to see Pedro Porro and Timo Werner both end up getting plus fours here. And that Werner SBC, I mean, is gonna be a joke it's actually gonna be insane how good he is and how he's gonna be in everybody's team until team of the season basically uh here are some more fantasy upgrades here some of the heroes going up mendy's going up by two i'm pretty sure mendy is like seven and a half million coins right now marmouche is getting a plus three adley's up singo carl some other players in there rolfo made an appearance today the other appearance i was talking about in my last video was apparently a cup game that was on me i totally did not realize it was a cup game but she made an appearance and they have seven of 11 goals already so it was one game they scored seven goals already she's gonna probably get a plus four at least a plus three so these spcs are, are, are i mean they've they've been insane here are some other ones as well lizarazu gets both upgrades kandreva gets another one rice is very likely to go to 94 he's 3.3 million coins the prices on these cards are 
ridiculous. I mean, for Lamedia, 7.1 million coins. I mean, that, uh, what? Se what? By the way, Osboss at 29,000 was a great investment. He's 35k already. So we've got a great repeatable icon pack right now going on, which is obviously always going to bring down the market a little bit. We've got a showdown SBC combination of like, honestly good enough to make people's teams that Clark and Akanji were both good enough to make teams out there so the market's gone down quite a bit today you know it doesn't usually trend down like this very often this year because of the power curve doesn't change much but this right now even with the absolute spike of 85 rated cards we are still seeing the market go down right now and that's saying something because as of right now 85 rated cards are flying right because of that icon SBC 84 is going way up hope you guys club stock some the high rated fodder actually did not do that well which I honestly thought it would but I also was not foreseeing a repeatable eye compact <laughs> you know that was that is kind of what can happen we talked about buying low rated and high rated stuff so hopefully about the low rated stuff too mixed in there so you can make some profit because 84s and 85s you know 85s went up 2,000 coins a card 84s went up a full thousand coins a card and even despite the more common 84 rateds and 85 rateds going up a ton we still have a big market drop in the index 100 and that's because people are selling things because the content's so good so you know what this kind of is telling me right now? I'm just gonna, gonna infer for the future here. It's telling me they're gonna really try and go kind of more all out with content because they know the player base is a little bit smaller now. Because they probably understood people are not happy with their game right now. There's no way they're gonna drop a repeatable icon pack like this in normal circumstances. I don't really believe it. So I think Fup Birthday is also going to be really good for content. Now that's just a guess, of course. But Fup Birthday is one that in the past, in the past few years has been really really good for players and it moves the power curve a lot last year it didn't really because nothing really moved the power curve at all but i think this year this will happen again i think we'll see some great content so i'm not really optimistic about the market actually long term right now which usually i kind of would be over a whole week we're about to have of like kind of just sbc content not much else but this repeatable icon pack today mixed with god knows what else we're gonna get over the course of this week if this came out we have you know monday is usually upgrade day of some kind um so right now it is dipping you could say hey i'm gonna buy the dip and then sell before fub birthday that's a possibility um but that is a little bit risky because i think they're gonna go with really good content here um and if i'm wrong then i'm wrong that's kind of like the bet i'm making right now that's kind of what i gotta say about the market right now uh by the way you know the, the pro event was going on today there was that showdown card that came out that was like related to the pro event um and, and right now the meta if you want to know what the meta is and you want to know you know what the overpowered things are to do in the game all you gotta do is watch one pro event because all that this guy did i forgot i don't even know which one it exactly is here but they basically just cross to Holland the entire game. That's what he does. He uh, goes to Holland and he either does a step over, just a little like quick step move, or he uh, just lobs it up to square to him. It's undefendable because it's aerial plus. So if you're sleeping on aerial plus still, just so you know, the pros are literally only using aerial plus to score right now. And also people are player locking on defense. See this guy player lock on defense. You guys don't even know you could do this, by the way. You can player lock on defense. Look what he does here. Because he knows his header is coming with Holland, he's going to switch off of his right back to this guy to then guard this pass. And that's all he can do to stop us. He literally can't ever beat Holland in the air, so he tries to switch to somebody else. So he's player locking on defense. So this is the meta of FIFA right now. And, you know, Stokes, who is a, a former pro, is like, oh, man, this meta is incredibly unwatchable. And he's not wrong. Let's read your comments and open our icon pack now. Shaft to 2010 says, we need icon SBCs to be a pick between three similar players, e.g. best Jerzinho or Winter Wildcard Garincha. At least try to promote team diversity. Uh, I think it's kind of a good idea. I think we've seen that before, though. I want to say FIFA 19 or 20, we saw that before. I, mean, I could be wrong about that, but that would be kind of cool, actually. Uh, now, the problem would be you can't kind of complete all of them. So you can't say you want a Jorginho and Best. Like if that was a player pick, you couldn't then complete Jorginho and Best. You'd have to choose one of them. So I get why that would be an issue, except they could just have it so it was the three player pick and then allow you to do it repeatedly and then just let you choose the other one next time. So maybe that wouldn't be the case. But, you know, certain things like that to promote team diversity would be kind of cool and just kind of it, you would almost check off more boxes to get people to do SBCs because they'd be more likely to find one they like if you release them as three. But I don't know. What do you guys think about that? At Tom, Tom, Tom uh, says, thanks, JFC. I listen to your vids every morning and you make me laugh at least twice every time. Um, 
<laughs> hey, thanks. I, I'm glad I make you laugh at least twice. Mohamed Forrest has a question for you, bro, slash comment section. Do you guys ever notice that changing one player in your team messes up your whole team dynamic? Or is it a skill issue? I used Thunderstruck Frankie de Jong until I packed Fantasy Fut Ramirez and insta-swapped him for Frankie as CDM, and I feel like my team got worse. I thought it was a placebo, so I put Frankie back in and instantly started winning again. In terms of skill, I'm usually a 14 win player in Weekend League. Any thoughts? And it's funny, I actually just made a video about five tips to help people out. One of them is personnel. And what I meant by that is that changing up one card in your team can honestly be the biggest difference in something going right or wrong with your team. Uh, Frankie De Jong and Ramirez, we talk about the differences between those two cards. Let's first look at their play style. So De Jong play styles, he's got finesse shot, incisive, long ball, and tiki taka, right? So these three passing play styles here, I don't think Ramirez is any of those, right? Ramirez has none of those. Yeah, he's ping pass plus and that's it. So right off rip, these cards are going to feel a lot different. De Jong's passing is going to feel miles better. You know, the passing probably isn't that much different. 93, 91 short and long, and this one's got 89, 86. You wouldn't think that'd be so insane, but the play styles are everything. So right off the bat, you know, you don't explain why I want to say, you know, why your team got worse. You weren't like conceding more or scoring less. I couldn't, I don't know which one it was, but if I had to guess, you probably use that player a lot to pass in your team. And one of them does a significantly better job at that than the other one because play styles mean so much. Ramirez, even though he has high height, can really, he seems like a box to box midfielder. He doesn't have those passing play styles. He doesn't have any shooting play styles either. I wouldn't really like to play him there. I, I really wouldn't like to. De Jong, though, even though his shooting is low, he has finesse shot. So he probably has even better shooting than Ramirez has, honestly. 75 finishing compared to 81. Yeah, no, that's way better with finesse shots. So, you know, there's a lot of differences like that that you got to look at when looking at cards. And just one of those differences can really change your team dynamic up. Because if De Jong's on the ball a lot for you and you don't really realize that when you're playing, that's a massive difference having Ramirez on the ball a lot compared to De Jong because they do much different things. And some people say, you know, it's a conspiracy. Like the top reply was like, you know, there's a, there's a hidden mechanic that makes your team Team worse and while i'm all for conspiracies and shit like that because I, I think some of them are definitely true i'm not sure about this one i just think that when you change one thing in your team it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal but it really can make or break your team it actually can so finding the right personnel that works for you in the right spots is very important and, and knowing what they do and why you love a certain player and why you, you don't like a certain player is important to know as well but all right so for tomorrow i'll probably open these as like a roulette these two i'm just gonna open like right away and just see what we can get because fuck it. I'll probably have like a five-man icon roulette tomorrow. But let's start with this. And I think it's a base icon. I think that was already. So that's Spain. That's center back. Okay, Carlos Puyo. I'm not expecting these to be very good. All right, it's repeatable. It's pretty cheap. So I'm not expecting much. But that that's a stinker off rip. It's a stinky. All right, let's see if we can get something in our second one. It's England. Center mid. That's not Bobby Charlton. That's going to be... Uh... That did not go to plan. But uh, if you guys have something good out of this, let me know in the comments. I'll have all these things to be over. So, peace.